What's good? What's good? I'm back. Yours truly, one and only Paul Pick, your host of the Paul Pick Podcast, aka Triple P, aka the Common Sense Podcast, your source for music, sports, politics, world events, and much, much more. Today, I'm going to get into a um, video of Jeff Teague uh, telling the infamous Jimmy Butler, Minnesota Timberwolves practice story, or at least his account of it. Um, before we do, I want to give you a word from promopalace.biz. Music marketing and promotion? Then look no further than Promo Palace LLC, your one-stop shop for all music promotion services. Services include Spotify playlist pitching, YouTube video promotion, record pool promotion, blog placements, radio airplay promotion, SoundCloud promotion, and much more. With over 2,000 customers and over 10 years of experience in online promotion, Promo Palace LLC is a company you can trust. For more info, please go to promopalace.biz. See you there. That's right. You heard a beautiful lady. If you need online market or promotions, please go to promopalace.biz. You see the website scrolling below. Get marketing and promotions at promopalace.biz. Dot biz. All right, let's get into it. We're going to pull up the Jeff Teague's account of the Jimmy Butler infamous practice. Let me get on my nerves in this comment. Y'all worse than the Timberwolves fans. No, they're not. <laughs> they're not Nobody's worse than Timberwolves. This is the Timberwolves. I have, a, I have a funny story I want to tell y'all. So, look, y'all remember when Jimmy Butler was on our team? <laughs> Do we remember? Okay, so look, there's a story going out about that whole situation, why he left. Uh, I'm gonna tell y'all what really happened. So we were at practice one day. What really mm. happened? Jimmy ain't came to no workout. So workout start in September. We don't see Jimmy. <laughs> Nobody's talking. Jimmy, Jimmy, we haven't seen Jimmy. Jimmy's my guy. It's my dog. Jimmy decides to show up. We start training camp. He comes three days after training camp start. He comes in. <clears throat> Tibbs. He has his little thing. He does. When he gets excited, his hands shake. <laughs> Handshake like this. So he, Jimmy walk in, his hands start shaking. No, Michael we J. all Parks. laugh and we like, boy, look at Tim, boy, that boy, I hype. Look at it, what they? <laughs> Maybe if y'all catch him in the game, his hand be shaking. So we laughing at Tibbs. We all think Jimmy about to practice. Like Jimmy want a new contract. Jimmy want a new contract. We think Jimmy gonna practice. Jimmy ain't practicing. Jimmy laying on there getting stretched out, giving massage while we running laps. We diving for loose balls. Tib said, we're going to scrimmage. Jimmy hop up. <laughs> I'm playing. Tib's hand go crazy. Ah. <laughs> I'm talking about this one going super crazy. He like, starters, Jeff, Jimmy, Wig, Taj, Cat. Jimmy said, I ain't playing with them. <laughs> we all, damn. D. Rose was like, he was like, well, Derek, you're in the starting group. D. Rose was like, all right. Jimmy said, I'm playing with them. He picked the Bad News Bears. The it was there, bad. no offense, but everybody in there, they wasn't going to make the team. <laughs> no he offense. grabbed them, no offense, but they was good players, but they wasn't making the team. He like, I'm playing with them. We playing first game. All right, we play first game. Jumped the ball. He's like, I got Cat. I was like, oh, shit. So Jimmy and Cat ain't like each other. That's another part of the story I get to one day. They ain't like <laughs> each other. That gets real funny when they don't like each other. So they jumped the ball. We throw it to Cat first play. Jimmy steal it. Go down, score. They go down, score. He's like, come on, Cat, post his little ass up, man. He can't guard you, blah, blah, blah. Jimmy like, fuck out of here. He trash. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> steal the ball again. They go down, score. Jimmy start talking to the gym. Everybody in the gym. Yeah. Y'all better mother effing pay me. I'm like that. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm laughing, not realizing what's coming with it. I'm laughing. Me and D Rose laughing. We in the game. We keep throwing the cat. Cat finally scored. He's he too little. I'm like, yeah, cat, talk to that mother. He ain't nothing. <laughs> da, da, da. Boy, they going this 10 over. <laughs> he dunking hit threes. Jimmy ain't scored at all. He just stealing the ball and passing to people, getting assists, just playing the right way. But he like doing everything. Yeah. Time run out. They win. They beat us like 18-6, right? <laughs> Man, Jimmy going crazy. Y'all think that team can win without me? I'm him. Pay me. Pay me. 
Mind you, he ain't took off his Jordan warm up yet, right? He finally takes it off. He got the Timberwolves <laughs> shirt on, but he cut the Minnesota out the so it just chest. <laughs> Wow. He cut the Minnesota out the shorts. It's just shorts. He out here with a hole in the middle of his shirt on <laughs> the middle of his leg. So I'm crying now. Yo, I'm crying. I'm like, yo, bro, crazy. But I didn't realize like he just beat us with the D League team, G League team. So I'm like, he like, I just beat them with the G Leaguers. This is your starters. So now I'm I'm laughing. I'm still crying, laughing, but I'm like, oh, he talking about me. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm one of the starters. I'm like, hold on. Like, so I'm mad now to me. All of us like, nah, F that. Like, we got to play again. So Tiff's like, nope, second unit, you got them. They beat the second unit. So we turned up. We all on sideline. Yeah. Hey, come on. Let's go. Yeah, mother. we talking crazy. Jimmy just darts to the locker room. I'm talking about <laughs> run fast as hell. So we play the second unit. We beat him. We all run the locker room. Like, Jimmy, bring your ass back out. We want to play again. Jimmy gone. <laughs> Jimmy gone. Man. Jimmy at home. We, yeah, we keep playing. We have practice for like another hour. We all shower. We go in the locker room. ESPN pop up. You know what time it is? Rachel Nichols and Jimmy Butler on TV. <laughs> we like, what the? <laughs> he like, yeah, I just killed them at practice, and uh, I think they all good players. We like, what? Hold on, I, I can't make this up, bro. Damn. He came and killed us and did a y'all and did an interview at home. One of the most iconic moments I've ever been a part in basketball, Damn. bro. How you set up an interview knowing you about to kill? Because you ain't about to... <laughs> I forgot that you was a part of that, too. He's goaded for that. I, I always felt like Jimmy was goaded for that. For sure. I feel like the fact that Jimmy gets the same results everywhere he goes is fire. He but told. the fact that he did that, and especially that it happened in Minnesota after the way they've been treating you the last couple of weeks, yeah. makes this shit so hey, much Actually, funny. I wish I would have walked out with him. <laughs> like, why would I have Jimmy team that day? <laughs> Because you ain't fuck? get the uniform. You, you had to catch your nipples out the way. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, he had his whole thing. That dude was crazy. Bro, he had everything cut out Minnesota, bro. I was in tears. I'm crying, bro. He was doing a Rachel Nichols interview the same night. Nah, that was fire. That is the most player move I've ever seen in my life. You know you're going to You cold if you know you about to kill because you set up an interview afterwards. Yeah, the shout out to Jimmy for sure. The fact that he... Yeah, uh... Shouts out to Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler is like the exact opposite of James Harden. James Harden is cat that kills in a regular season, scores all these points, all these assists, come play all the time. He folds. He folds like a like a blackjack game. Um Jimmy Butler is a cat that cruises through the regular season, you know, just just consistent, not, you know, crazy, ridiculous scoring averages and things of that nature. And then playoff times comes, and he goes from, like, 21 to 22 a game to, like, 31 to 32 a game. Um, You heard what they said. Like, he didn't even score none of the points. He just passed the ball. He just got probably blocks, uh, rebounds, steals, and just took it up and facilitated. Jimmy Butler, everywhere he goes, he wins. Minnesota should have kept him over Wiggins. Um, Sixers should have kept him over Ben Simmons or Tobias Harris. Actually, they should have kept Tobias Harris, got rid of Simmons, and kept Jimmy Butler in the long run. And Miami made the right move by getting him. I mean, he's literally carried him to two NBA championship final appearances. Um with just really Bam out of bio, and that's it. And Bam Ayabato, he's good. I mean, he's good, but he's not he's a legit all-star. Don't get me wrong. But um yeah, like it ain't like they got a ton of ton of like talent on that team. You know, they definitely overpaid Duncan Robinson. Um, Tyler Hero probably might be worth what he's getting paid, but he's probably gonna get traded in the um Dame Lillard trade and whatnot. But um yeah, Jimmy Buckets is that guy. He's that dude. 
Miami was smart. He fits totally with their culture. The Sixers totally fucked up. They should have, if anything, they should have not signed Tobias Harris. They should have signed a Jimmy Butler to that big extension. And then if the Ben Simmons thing comes about, you know, you still trade him for James Harden. Then you'd have James Harden, Jimmy Butler, and and Bede, and still probably have Maxi, and been able to sign probably PJ Tucker and some of these other cats still. So, yeah, man, these cats that Minnesota Timberwolves, the Sixers, and the Bulls, they all fucked up, man. Jimmy Butler is that dude, and. I'm going to go, I'm going to believe Jeff Teague's account on this because I heard Carl Anthony Towns and his sounds a little biased. It sounds a little biased because you were the one on the losing side and you were the one that Jimmy Butler called trash. So there's that. Once again, I want to thank y'all for tuning in to the Paul Pickett podcast and I'm out.